the of Mount Etna scattered ash at a U.S. Navy Bailey, closing several facilities. Siganella Naval Air Base temporarily closed its runway over the weekend following the eruption of Italy's most active and powerful volcano in eastern Sicily, officials said Monday. Spur after Mount Etna's eruption on Sunday. It also did not say whether flight operations had resumed. Every aircraft outside their hangar undergoes inspection to ensure they are airworthy said Lt. Drake Greer, a spokesman for Nas Saganella, in an email to Stars and Stripes. The base hosts more than 34 commands and activities, including the U.S. 6th Fleet, NATO, and Special Operations Units. The 11,013-foot volcano is about 25 miles north of the base. Several facilities, including two swimming pools and a skate park, were closed because of the ash, the Basie's Morales, Welfare and Recreation Office said Monday in a post on its Facebook page. Sunday's event saw ash and rock from the volcano scattered over much of the east side of the island. The airport in Catania, about 13 miles northeast of Nas Saganella, resumed flights Monday morning after the suspension the day before the airport announced in a tweet. Airports are telling passengers to expect some service limitations and delays. Nas Saganella emergency management and operations officials previously said that ashfall from Mount Etna posed a threat not only to aircraft and runways, but also to flat-roofed buildings at the base. Ash could also enter the building through heating and ventilation systems, they said. The base monitors volcanic activity, earthquakes and other natural disasters and has several plans to deal with an eruption of Mount Etna. That includes landing the craft and securing it to prevent damage, officials told Stars and Stripes in November 2021. On Sunday, Lava flows were visible from the crater southeast of the volcano, but observations were limited by cloud cover, the National Institute of Geophysics and Volcanology said in a statement. That day, 